Ivory Tower keep throwing the insanity our way now. We have got some R32 gameplay and honestly, even bigger than that, this may be the second biggest change in the Cruise franchise ever. FOMO in the bin. Yes! The R32. Now, there's actually two things uh, to talk about here. The is a new feature that are linked to the main Japan Volume 2 playlist, so you will unlock it once you have finished the event. It's a set of characters that are living within the open world that you will be able to find and uh, defy on the randomly generated races defy. to the island. And you will progress by beating them until you discover the mystery driver and uh, beat him. Short and sweet, to the point, this is the first change they're doing to the game. So after you complete Made in Japan's playlist, this is the Rivals leaderboard that we get access to. So it's kind of like, well, a Rivals leaderboard in where you'll bash through all the opponents and unlock some special cars. It's pretty cool because this is a really fun way to play the single player, but progress. There's a new progression, if you will. It being locked behind the playlist is interesting because it means you must play Made in Japan too. So we'll see how that plays out and how many people actually get these cars. However, because the special cars behind it, I feel like it's going to be pretty high. These are the reward cars that we get. We actually get an M5 CS Rival Edition, which is a pretty cool car to win considering that's in the car pass and if the car pass follows the old formula we'll get that a week later that you can buy the normal m5 but anyway you can play to earn an m5 it's pretty cool there is however a mystery reward which i am very very interested in to see but all this in the bit the crew has done something game-changing and we need to talk about it. We'll get right back to that in just a minute, but I quickly want to tell you about the Asphalt Legends Unite Speed Series with Samsung that is live right now. To celebrate the launch of the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra, Samsung is sponsoring three weeks of these time-limited events in Asphalt and giving away these epic devices to winners every single week. Hit the boost! Yes! I've of course been sent a new Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra device by Samsung to play around with and I have to tell you it is supercharged with epic features and it's perfect for gaming on the go. The upgraded chipset means it's faster and more powerful than ever before while also being crazily thin. I'll be taking on the Speed Series with Samsung live on YouTube very soon. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you get a notification because there'll be a chance for you guys to win a Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. I mentioned two huge changes to the crew franchise that will basically forever change this franchise. And I think this one is probably second after the always online take a re reversal. We're going to get the offline patch in the future, which I'm very, very excited about because it means I can now put my time into the crew and not feel like I'm going to lose access to the damn game. It's always good. Now, one of the other big things, as I said, is FOMO. And the FOMO being gone just is... It's game changing. I'm uh, Anthony. I'm a project coordinator here Hello. in uh, Ivory Tower. And I'm following up uh, topics such as the summit and the main stage for uh, each of the season of uh, the Crew Motor Fest. So this is the custom Basically, mode. Basically, today, the custom mode allows to replay a mission from uh, the different playlist with a different uh, configuration. You can choose another vehicle type, different weather, etc. Et and uh, we thought, oh, maybe we can add a dedicated progression with uh, this custom mode. So now you have a new tab in the playlist uh, menu where you can earn medals for each configuration. And ah. on top of that, we added a dedicated leaderboard for each of the vehicle type within this custom mode. So now you can compete uh, with your friends or with the world in all these different uh, configurations. This is crazy. All right, let me explain this a little bit. So this is my car. Do you remember it was added a good while ago on a summit and what only a few people basically were able to get access to it because unless you play the summit and actually dominate, you don't get access to it. And now it's all linked so that it's across platforms. There's only a certain number of people. Let me get to the point. This special rare car is not purchasable in the game. That is changing, my friends, with this new system. So not only do we get per event 11 new ways to actually play generally, like in some events, certain car classes are not going to work, but 11 ways to play, basically, every single event in a playlist. I actually don't know how many playlists are in the game right now, but you, you have to comprehend this is how many events they're basically adding. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it seems like each playlist has about eight to nine events. So let's say 20 playlists, nine events in each, nine new variations to play. Again, could be two small average. 
I don't know the averages. I don't know, for example, plane events and stuff. Can we do cars and plane events? I don't know if they're doing it with those events, but we're looking at about 1,600 new ways to play the game, new events. To be clear, this was already doable, but now they're making it into a way to unlock these new tokens. It's a brand new currency. It's not the only way to get the currency. They have mentioned a couple of other ways if you play through playlists for the first time and things like that. That generally gives more, but now you're able to get small amounts of those tokens by playing the event in different types of ways. So we're going more from a FOMO to smashing out the game for those extra cars if you wish to do so. Now they have shown what this menu looks like, this new store. It may change because this was shown at the showcase a while ago. So when you go into the shop, you'll see these prestige tickets, which you'll be able to jump into the store and basically buy things that you wish. New tickets have arrived allowing you to exchange for items, get special rewards that you've missed for other seasons, and obtain prestige tickets from your progression in custom mode available in each player. So the, there's ways to get these prestige tickets and this is the shop where we'll be spending them. So the player right now has zero season one exclusive items, season two exclusive items. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but are they just gonna have everything on the store? What's the length of time before we get access to these things? This is a really cool system. And again, this new currency is unlockable by just playing the game. To be fair, it is going to be a grind. There's no question about that. For example, the Bugatti, which I actually don't even have this version of the car, is 15 thousand tickets like for example on this chart we get a hundred per this and a hundred per that it seems so if there's 11 of them again it's gonna take you some time but realistically it's a better way in my opinion to give those cars than say grinding for the summit especially if you know you don't put this if you don't have the time to put it to the summit there's always still a way to get those cars and my car being accessible to everyone with a little bit of grind a little, a little bit of grind is pretty sweet i'm very very excited about that because again it kills fomo but also adds more gameplay for those of us that just like to do driving we just want to drive that's something that i really really miss about the crew one was those really long events where you just drove for like hours and you got some pretty cool reward for doing so, like big money usually, and you'd buy a cool car. And I don't know, I just, I played the game a lot as a game where I just kind of sat and let it play. Switched my brain off, didn't really need to put so crazy much uh, amount of effort in, and I unlocked what I wanted to. This is really cool to me. I I'm looking forward to this. But I do think it's worth mentioning that I've heard some mentions from the community that they really, really feel a little bit let down by the fact that there's no major new PvP changes in this update everything is staying about the same there's new grand race routes and there's new demolition royale routes but they're kind of lacking in the department of changes for pvp what a lot of people want is basically you be able to play pvp on the normal events in the game with rivals and basically sets up and clearly that structure is just not built properly at all yet now i'm someone that doesn't really care about pvp but it does seem a little odd that pvp is one of the most played elements of the game overall, and it doesn't really get much love in other directions. But if they do that, well, they'll be pulling from the Grand Race. I do like the concept of the Grand Race. It's pretty cool, but it's not something that I personally um, uh, want to, to, to chase, want to enjoy. It's not. I'm not a PvP person. But I think just like these challenge systems where you can now create a million different events, surely it makes so much sense to kind of incorporate that system into the pvp run it through you've got 1600 events that you could session people with it doesn't even need to increase how many players can actually play those events at first if the initial just get it going thing is with four people or three people i don't really mind that much that seems like a simple way to dip the toes in but i guess if you want to do it properly you got to build it right and you know allow proper pvp with like 10 people, 8 people, something like that, at least, right? But with the amount of combinations of events and stuff, like imagine all the cool monster truck races that you could do, that you would just, vehicles you don't use, they could force us to kind of have like a, a random changing playlist that works something like that. But that's just me kind of saying on the side of the community, I personally don't give a damn. <laughs> I've got what I want, more progression, more grind, I'm for it. This is absolutely based on community suggestion. They are doing all the right things. Ticking so many boxes, making it so that the game works offline. My car is now forever going to be usable. And now everyone can get it by just smashing out some events. If you complete two playlists, 
you you get access to like my car which is pretty cool question is though what happens when you run out of those events to do <laughs> there's gotta be there's gotta be more ways to unlock the, those tickets also i just wanted to randomly say shout out to facebook for having the superior video player so i don't have to watch the stupid elon crap because it just doesn't work <laughs> properly by comparison to, to, to facebook's player the, the, the compression on facebook is lesser but ivory tower please put them on youtube jesus and i'm not talking shorts do not put them on shorts do not i am trying to understand this collect medals as much as you can to align them on rows and columns to obtain prestige tickets so it says as much as you can to obtain pre okay but you get these bonus ones at two, uh, tw 200 for doing 20 events, for example. Uh, but it seems like 100, 100. Does that mean I have to complete all 11 events to get 100 tickets? Because if so, there's not enough events. <laughs> I'm sure they'll drop an article after I put, release this video answering these questions. But uh, <laughs> they haven't right now. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Let's see how much of a grind this is going to be, my friends. We could be in for one, or we could not. And I was right the first time, and it's like 100 per. But that seems like a lot. We'll see! Until next time, check out the previous crew video. There's a lot of crew stuff happening.